And then there's another band that's coming down the pipe. It's a band with one of the names that I think is one of the best band names in a long time because rock and roll at its best is Dirty Honey. Dirty Honey comes from a different sort of branch on the rock and roll tree. If Greta Van Fleet is huge and open and vast, Dirty Honey reminds me a little bit more of that sort of Guns N' Roses style where it's intimate, it's a bar room, and it is in your face. They've got an album coming out. Pete, have you had a chance to listen to some of it? Yeah, it's very good, Willie. And let me ask you this. Do you think, because I know you've heard it as well, do you think Dirty Honey is the next big thing in rock? I think they certainly could be. I don't think this album is going to go down as an epic, one of the all-time greats, but it's very, very good. Uh, there's a few tracks on there. Once again, the repeat factor, as I like to call it, where I listen to it five, six, seven times in a row. I think they could be. I think what they get back into is solid riffs. Um, they're not as grandiose as a Greta Van Fleet. So people who have a hard time with the prog rock, the sort of too much expanse, too much theater. You won't find that with Dirty Honey. These guys go right to the point. I think a lot of people who loved the punchy, hard rock aspect of 70s and the, the gems out of the 80s are going to love these guys. I don't know if they're going to be the next big thing, but they certainly could be because they write good songs. They're great musicians. And I think the attitude is there. So I see these guys sticking around too. I, I can't wait for people to hear this album. It's coming out this, this upcoming Friday. Yeah, right? on Friday. And they had put out a single for this recently, California Dreaming, which if you've seen the music video, the music video is super cool. It's really, really well done. And they put out a couple singles the past couple years and they started putting out singles in 2019. And then this album was kind of delayed because of the pandemic. So this is finally right. now their, their debut that's going to get out there. Eight tracks on the album, which honestly kind of listening to the album from start to finish, I think they really kind of hit it on the money right there with the eight tracks. Yeah. I, I think that's pretty good. And yeah, they've got a lot of different kind of interesting influences. Willie, I know you had mentioned like ACDC, Guns yes. N' Roses, Audio Slave, a lot of those sort of influences in there. So yeah, there's, there's definitely some good stuff on this album. And Really, you look at rock music and people saying, oh, rock music is dead. Well, guess what? There's a lot of good rock bands right now that, yeah. that are putting out pretty good albums. Well, I think also you mentioned California Dreaming. Without giving too much away, I've gotten the advance, so I've gotten to hear the entire album. Eight songs. If I had to rank the songs, California Dreaming, as good as it is, that's not even in the top half. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think that people are going to be surprised I think there's a nice one-two punch of songs in the middle. I love their album, Closer. I, I think that anyone who gets the chance to at least give them a listen. Once again, like Greta Van Fleet, it's not for everyone. None of the stuff that we come out here, do we say everyone's going to think it's the best ever. But if you like punchy rock and roll, if you like in your face, guys that maybe you can say one day, oh, I saw them playing in a bar three years ago, and now they're playing to 20,000 people, these Dirty Honey could be that band. And here's the other thing, Willie, with Greta Van Fleet getting so much mainstream attention and really getting out there, that helps bands like yes. Dirty Honey. That helps bands like Rival Sons. So the more of these bands that we get out there, everyone's going to benefit from that. So there's, there's nothing wrong with Greta Van Fleet being successful. That's right. going to help out so many other bands. And that's a good thing.